coming to you pre-recorded from our respected rooms it's survivor craft know-it-alls episode two here we're gonna record we're gonna recap and analyze episode two of survivor craft death valley with me one of your co-hosts yappity and an epiclis Applicus. It's okay, no one can say my name right. Straight out of the gate, excited to be here, right? Of course, of course! Of course! Of course! Yeah, and before we even start the episode, we want to say <laughs> an apology to Country Boy! Country we Boy, are we so are so sorry. sorry. So sorry, I, it's mostly my fault. <laughs> it kind All of it when, is his fault. When, yeah, it is my fault, but... <laughs> okay, so here's... To, to explain to everybody else, it's... What happened was, is last episode, we gave Country Boy a really bad time because of his voice. Turns out that voice actually belongs to Ursi, and Country Boy has a voice that is relatively deeper than my own. Uh-huh. <laughs> and actually, my voice sounds pretty high with this mic since it's so close to my mouth, but I actually have a pretty deep voice considering it all, and I just want to say, I am so sorry, Country Boy. What happened was, is like... Uh, Ursi was saying, here, let me give this to you real quick, and then you threw something on the ground so it could also be attributed to poor editing. <laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> but no, no, it's it's my bad, sorry. And that, but it just reaffirms the reason we need interviews. Yes, we need, we need interviews. interviews. And confessionals, interviews, confessionals. The whole yes. thing. We it's want them. Important. We need them. And we're just gonna move on. We're sorry, country boy. Ursi, yes. we're annoyed of you, actually. That's, yeah, we're annoyed of you. You yell too much. You're panicked in everything you say. You talk more than me, and my name's Yappity. So you got that name for a reason. We'll leave it there. But still, you're good at the match, and we gotta pick on everyone for something or other. Yeah, and now we'll move on to something that we missed from last episode, which is last tribal council. We forgot to talk about the vote. It was yes. three to two. Three people voted for Elsie, which was Blood, Thrashkin, and Dradon, while the two other people, Elsie and, and Naruto, or White Chocolate, they voted for PvP. And which we still don't know what it is. But our what we think PvP means is that PvP yeah. as in they're going to fight each other, and whoever dies first, possibly... I don't know. Gets I, voted yeah, off. I think PvP is like a death match, and whoever loses is the person who leaves. Which, as strategists like ourselves, we do not like the idea of just opting out and going for PvP, because you're ultimately not controlling your own fate right there. Unless yeah. there's a couple, depending on how the PvP is run, there's a couple different ways you could do it. I mean, if it's the first person to die, just run away. Yeah. Just run away. But even <laughs> then, we want people to. We want people to play the game. You don't. Yeah. You don't play Survivor just by handing people then the we, win. We don't, we don't know. We don't know. So we can't make that call either. Yeah. Well. We don't know what PvP is, but apparently the players do. We just want more cutthroat things. <laughs> Backstabbing. This actually happened with the first season of Survivor, where people were, had morale, morale choices on whether to play in a official way like with alliances and voting off people or to play how it was quote unquote meant to be played and about surviving and whoever was the best survivor would win but obviously the first winner actually did the way did the style of actually making alliances and voting people off in a strategic way and he won and that's why that's the staple of survivor now and yeah but See, it's going back to alliances. Remember those three people who voted for Ursi? Blood, now, those three people, yeah, they next voted for White. White Chocolate. So, but even White Chocolate voted for himself. It's very weird. It was a unanimous vote. Even White Chocolate uh -huh. was voting for himself, which can be taken a number of ways. He either knew that they were going to vote against him, so he's like, oh, screw it, I'm out anyways, and decided to vote for himself as a gag, or he really just wanted off the show. Either way, whether he actually knew that he had a, a whether he knew that he actually got a vote, mm -hmm. or a, that they were going to vote him off, or whatever was going to happen, uh -huh. either way, that means that they were talking to him about something or other. I want to know what that something or other is. It was either they were talking about saying, "Oh no, we're all going to vote you off. You don't have a chance, anyways." It was either smack talk, or it was just a bad relation. Or so, maybe they were just letting them down easy and making the least. Or they're not trying to surprise Naruto or Blood Fox, but either way, that powerhouse of Blood, Thrashkin, and Dradon on the green team 
was just a solid alliance and that why Chocolate could not get around. Yeah, I would be very interested if they lose another challenge to see who get voted off. But that then again, amazing. it's five to three right now, so we might see uh, someone from the blue team move over to the green. A tribe swap? Yeah, possibly. That it would might make not, it even four to four. It might not even be like one person moving over. It might just be like a total mix-up of ultimately being two green and like three blue or one green. That's true. That would be very interesting. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next episode, whether it's a tribe merge or they're just gonna or a tribe swap or they're just gonna stay the same. And maybe a season ten Palau will happen where a team might get oolonged, where there is no tribe merge and there's I mean there's no tribe swap and there's only a tribe merge once there is let's say maybe six people left. And all the green team just got wiped out because they lost every challenge where there's only one green team member left. Or maybe they get all wiped out through all the team challenges and just blue team left with five people. But that that's so many seasons in the future, possibly. So we'll talk so, about that. Like you yeah. know, that's that's just a speculation. Later, right there. later. Let's let's stick with this episode. We are terrible at that. We are terrible at focusing. <laughs> so yeah. we'll just move on. Yeah, we'll move on to the episode. Nothing really happened. Not none big. Not a lot of big things happened, except, you know, there was the there first was, battle. That was interesting. Which one? Oh, Epicus has or, his tinfoil hat on because he is a conspiracy theorist. He wants to talk about... It makes sense! When Vix attacked Drayden too. Uh, who was there to... It was usernames. Us usernames came, uh, ran around on the land to outflank him and would have got in front of him easily. I totally thought he was going to die because he just hit him back into the water. Vix comes behind. Drayden's dead. But usernames fell into the one square block of water <laughs> and sat there. Didn't even try to swim up or chase after it. Essentially, he let Dredon go. And, when, and, 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 and so I'm thinking it's possible alliance between usernames and Dredon, if not all three of the green team. And you gotta remember this too, is that uh, there's these books there's the secret books that are hidden around. Green team found the first one, but blue team then found the second one, thus cutting green team off from being able to find the treasure, because they don't know where the third book is. But it was usernames who just happened along the second book, <laughs> thus preventing uh, thus preventing blue from being, the rest of blue from being able to get at it. And we also didn't hear in their chat that username found the book. It wasn't, username didn't just go, uh -huh. Oh, look! I found this book! You so guys you think, want to know what it is? So you think Username is trying to hide it from the blue team? I think Username might be in cahoots with at least straight on, if not all of green team. In other words, Vevicus believes that Username is the mole on the blue team. Yes. And what we named the Alliance, what from last time we tried to record this, we're just going to have I say it. We tried recording this, recording this a while ago. We failed. It broke. Some, yeah, Everything something broke. broke. But we ended up calling the alliance of Blood, Thrashkin, Draydon, and Username, while well, the possible alliance, the Silence. That these Draydon, Thrashkin, and Blood Fox. It's at least those three. And possibly, possibly Username. I think Username might be in on it too. So it's something to look out for for the Silence. Yeah. If that is a thing, we could be totally wrong about this. I'm gonna be curious. That might be our final four. <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's the merge happens, uh -huh. if you have four people who are in cahoots that are deciding, hey, we're all going to vote for this guy, you can't outvote them unless you have immunity idol. Well, four people. Well, I don't know. I don't want to... Yeah, because even right now, there's uh -huh. eight people left. Yeah. So if you have an alliance of four, unless the whole other side is an alliance of four, they get to decide who goes off. Unless there's immunity idol involved. That'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't. I can't really do the math right now because I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Really, the yeah. silence shh, is going to happen. I think. All right. Let me see. But since you already mentioned this anyway, the books, the hints containing yeah, the books that contain hints to the hidden treasure room, where it's just like on the bottom of the sea there is a whole room full of like so many chests. I don't even do count, but that maybe at least nine chests filled with either enchanted stuff. <laughs> It's just crazy how much treasure there is in that hidden treasure room. But it's going to be interesting because if they don't find it by the time that the teams merge, uh -huh. then one person is going to get all that instead of a team dishing it out. Depends how long it lasts and depending on what's in there. I mean, there could only be one item within each chest or each chest could be full. Either way, it's going to be overpowered. Or it might be, it might be very overpowered. And 
Uh-huh. I don't know. That might be the game right there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Conspiracy yeah. hat, uh, tinfoil hat. Let's get it off right now, though. All right, we're done with that. The silence. We talked about the treasure room, and throughout the whole episode, there's just a lot more fighting. Blue team actually dominates. I don't think Blue even died once. Maybe. I don't think so. Yeah. But yeah, there wasn't there wasn't really much going on. Just normal stuff. A white chocolate pillared up to get out of the way. Um, yeah, there wasn't. Honestly, there wasn't a lot of talk about it during the survival aspect. So let's just go straight into the match yeah. in which Vix proved why he's my favorite. All right, so now we'll and move I'm on to the challenge. Dude. So happy. <laughs> the PvP challenge that happened. It was just in a pit with uh, water and and uh, just some pillars. I actually like the intro that they did for this one, where they actually you know where Meaty I think I can't tell by the voice still, but he talked about the challenge. He explained the challenge. And it was like pre-recorded and everything. Well, it was it was post-recorded. They added it into the episode later. And Vix dominates. He beats Blood. He beats Thrashkin. He beats Stradon. He beats uh, White Chocolate. Just dominates them all. Definitely makes up for his one death last episode. Uh -huh. He not only retrieved his enchanted chain, but got another three sets of chain. Yeah, and... Amazing. And it was a clean sweep, and there's nothing else more to say. You, you want to... Well, Thrask, uh, Thraskin, I want to uh, just give him a quick little shout-out. He did great. He almost took out Vix, and he would have. He would just needed to... Uh, if he had better utilized his bow, then he would have done great. That was Vix's weakness. Vix is a terrible shot. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed. Vix is a terrible shot. So uh, even though Vix had a bow, Thraskin could have taken him out with his bow, which I think was yeah. even more powerful. So it was definitely possible for Thraskin to win, but he got into close combat too much, which is a bad idea since Vix had an enchanted diamond sword with and heavy, heavy knockback. Yeah, but, uh, again, knockback, which is not a good then, idea. Thraskin got the drop on Vix one time, and the only reason that Vix survived that is because he had an Ender Pearl, which was yeah. great. Use Ender Pearl. Normally, when I use Ender Pearl, I get stuck in a wall somewhere, but <laughs> he shot it excellently. I was very impressed. But yeah, congratulations to both Thraskin and Vix. You both did very, very well. During that challenge, yeah. I, I enjoyed watching that fight. And uh, Vix ultimately used uh, the uh, use of height advantage, as in he kept on going high, attacking using the crits. That's, I think, how he won most of the time. Yeah. And just, like, going ham on the other team. Mm. Um, so, anything else you want to talk about the challenge? Nice um, shit. Well, let's go. Uh, if we go forward a little bit, it kind of involves the challenge. But uh -huh. it, when we went to Tribal Council, Meaty was talking about how he had talked with Vix and had discussed strategy with him afterwards uh -huh. and saying, yeah, they were planning on this the whole time, uh, putting their best person first. I'm sitting here thinking why wasn't this recorded? Why didn't we get to see the interview? I mean, it's not even, oh, we didn't have time to interview, so that's why there wasn't any. They uh -huh. took the time to do the interview and everything, but they just didn't record and edit it in. And that's what's really what makes Survivor. Yeah, it does. Confessionals are a huge thing. It helps us connect with the characters. It helps us know what the strategies are. Who's in an alliance? And so far, because there are no confessionals, it just leaves it to people like Applicus and I to speculate and just throw random theories out there until we find out for sure. Yeah, but it's fun to speculate too, but it'd be nice to have a couple facts every now and then. It would. So, you know, I think our ultimate end goal is to get at least one person from the show by the uh, by the series uh, finale, <coughs> Kazunites. Did you try uh -huh. to hold it in the whole time? No, we heard you. Oh, I heard, you did. I, I heard you. My, I did use my mute button. Oh well, I no. didn't get it fast enough. Oh well. Are you, I'm keeping it in there. I'm, I don't edit anything. <laughs> I think you were, were you trying to hold it in the whole time. A little while. About I've, I lasted 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so now we move on to Tribal Council, I guess. For now. Yeah, we already talked about Tribal Council in the very beginning. Huh? Yeah, Naruto goes yeah. home. But for the himself, one, the one thing that I wanted to say, the, my my one last thing, mm -hmm. was uh, the PVP on the signs because White Chocolate put PVP on his. It was either he voted for either White Chocolate, then he put or PVP. What is his PVP really? You know, even if you guys have to record a separate episode uh -huh. just to tell us what PVP is, it's you can't add a new game mechanic and not tell us what it is, especially when we see it. Yeah, I mean, I can understand the books. You didn't tell us from the get go because they no one there was no reason to yet. But uh -huh. we're seeing PvP, and we don't know how what would happen. How does this work? Yeah. Or maybe eventually it does get voted for, and that's when they're going to explain it. 
which I do not agree if they ever do vote for PvP. Cause... Well, it, depending on how it's done, it could actually be done pretty well. Uh, no, but I mean, like as a player standpoint, if I was going to be playing, I would never want to rely on PvP because if I want to send a, P a person home, I want to be my choice and not just some random choice between mm. the two that I wanted or whatever, or whatever, however it goes. But I guess that w that's it, really. We just went, we just blew past this episode because we were actually on point this time. Yeah, and there's not a lot, so. Yeah, I think we did good. Yeah, we're hoping that this episode is not longer than the actual episode of Survivor Craft. Yeah. Well, the first episode that we did was kind of long because we weren't just analyzing the episode, we were analyzing Death Valley as a whole, too. Yeah. So, so that, our episode should be pretty short. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be too long. So, I guess now it's time to say goodbye already. Have a yeah. guess. Bye. YouTube channel? You want to plug it in? It's going to be... It's going to be on my YouTube channel. It's going to be in your description. I don't sure. really think we need to add it in every video. Okay, guys. YouTube.com slash VimSect, anyways. YouTube.com slash YappaDXD. Guys, thumbs up if you like this podcast. Comment if you want to join the discussion. And subscribe to our respective channels if you want to see more of us. We also upload video game uh, episodes or Let's Plays. Whatever that we do, we do stuff on our channels. Also, put uh, if you have any conspiracy theories, put them in the comments, too, and I'll start over analyzing them and either poke them tons of holes in them or agree with you and add more evidence and that'll be an interesting segment <laughs> i love that kind of stuff anyway guys this is survivor craft know what else our next episode will be sometime around Mar um, next monday because because Epicus has something to do and i have work so it'll be a while until we get the next episode but we'll see you guys next time episode three of survivor craft comes out on saturday and you know be there will be talking about it. I don't know what more... Is there anything more else to say? I don't no, know. I'm just excited. say bye. Bye, bye. guys. Bye.